Hey guys and welcome back to part 3 of Operation Anzio. The first task of the day for Team Raid was to move through the town, clearing out buildings to try and find three objectives. Once we had those objectives, we then had to safely transport them to an extraction zone to win ourselves the game. Now the objectives could be spaced out throughout any of the buildings in the town, so it was just a case of moving very slowly, checking every building until we found what we needed. Now as we closed in on this building, we'd taken a lot of fire from the first floor window, so we definitely knew there were enemy players above us, and by the amount of enemy players we saw, it led us to believe there may be some kind of objective they're trying to defend somewhere in this building. Now at the top of these staircases, the hallway goes to the left and the right, so there's a chance that enemy players could be on either side of you. So we take a few seconds to sit here, listen in, and it sounds like there's more activity going on to the right hand side. So I take a short little quick peek to the left to check it's clear, before making an advance to the right side of the corridor. Sorry lad, sorry. Come your ears! Matt, what's your flank? Can't see shit now. Alright, we're gonna move into this room. After clearing out all the enemy players on the first floor, unfortunately we didn't find an objective. So, it was time to just move on to the next building and see if we could find anything there. Now straight away as we moved onto this building again we came under heavy fire so a telltale sign there could be something they're trying to defend inside this building. With all the fire coming from the first floor windows we had little resistance taking the ground floor which gave us chance to regroup and try and take the upstairs in larger numbers. Yellow, where's the rest of the... Are you on your feet? Right. You move that way, we're going to go this way at the same time. Ready? Let's go, let's go. Sam, move, move, move. Be careful with your balconies. Staircase, hold it. After clearing out the building and finding the first objective and moving it to safety, we then moved back across the town where we came under a little bit of resistance here at the embassy before finally moving on to a third house where we had some pretty strong information that was where the final objective was being held. That works. If you move forward. Uh, there's a ground floor window that we're exposed to here if we move any further forward. Now as we try and move up on the objective, we do get spotted from the first floor window. So as you see here, a few enemy players try and move down to the ground floor to try and defend it. But myself and Aaron move in and take out as many as we can. Aaron! Just nail, I think, two. We could be in the same one if you got med res. Stairs are here, so watch yourself. 
Oh, if you move in, careful with the floor above as well. He's down. I'm gonna move on to the stairs, you, you keep me covered there. After taking out those guys on the stairs and reviving my teammate Aaron who'd taken a hit, it was now time to move upstairs before too many enemy players closed in on the building to try and capture the objective. Hey! Now you may have noticed throughout today's video, I do have a new sight on my weapon. This is an SRS Trigicon clone. I do have more information about this sight coming soon. My sponsors at Battlestore were kind enough to send it to me. It's the first time I've used it. I will be having a full review of it up on my channel soon. But I have to say, so far I am enjoying this sight. It's a very cool sight. So if you would like to see more about it, I will leave it linked in the description below. Now as you can see we managed to get upstairs there and clear out the building. I was pretty pleased with myself, I managed to go right the way through the building without taking a single hit or going down, so I was pretty pleased with myself there. But as you can see we got ourselves the final objective, so now it's a case of taking it to the extraction zone, defending it until the game time ran out, and of course winning ourselves the game. So if you did enjoy today's video, don't forget to leave all your thoughts and comments below, and of course don't forget to hit like if you did enjoy the video. And stay tuned guys, part 4 will be up very soon. But in the meantime, thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon.